Om Shanti. Welcome to today's session, Friday nights, with guided meditation and live healing harp music. We have with us today Sister Kyoko, who will be playing the harp, and Sister Sakanya, who will be leading us in today's guided meditation. So today's meditation is the fourth session out of seven. We covered who we are. We went a little deeper into what our qualities are, and we also touched upon having spiritual relationships. So today's topic is really beautiful. It is going beyond. And here are a couple of lines that you can think about and churn during today's meditation. And Sister Sakanya will be taking us deeper into this aspect. We are spiritual beings who eternally belong to the sky. And have come here on the stage of this earth as actors to enjoy the movie of life. But when we lose this eternal sight from beyond, our minds get locked in the limited consciousness of earth, and we create attachments in the story that ultimately leads to experience of sorrow. So let us rise in love of the divine. And fly back to the eternal and unlimited experience of the sky. Om Shanti.
ओम शांति ओम मीन्स आय द सोल आय द इटर्नल बीइंग ऑफ लाइफ एंड लाइट शांति इज पीस साइलेंस सिरिनिटी हार्मनी all sit in this inner space of peace as we relax the body with our every breath we inhale calmness exhale calmness inhale relaxation release any tightness in the body especially the forehead release the muscles of the forehead shoulders relax the jaws feel with every breath how the relaxation flows through the body from the tip of the head to the toes the body sits relaxed bringing the awareness to the being 
the inner being, the true being, that the self is. Visualize yourself as that radiant inner spark at the center of the forehead. Recognize yourself as the spiritual being, the spiritual light, point of pure radiance. The essence is the point, the self. Expansion is in the expression. When we are not aware of our spiritual identity, our true identity, we lose ourselves in the expansion of the expression. Expression is in the form of act, behavior, movement, we also have our subtle expressions of multitude of thoughts that are created over some subject matter. The emotions that erupt from those thoughts the constant flow of thoughts. Sometimes are not so necessary. Knowing the self as the spiritual 
energy, the spiritual radiance, point radiance. As these thoughts are being spoken, you visualize it. See yourself as that pure, peaceful, loveful radiance of light. And in this identity, spiritual identity. The body disappears. When we focus our awareness on the spiritual self that we truly are, we recognize the body as the holder of the spiritual light. We recognize the body as the dwelling of the spiritual light. This is going beyond the consciousness of the body. Going beyond the expansion of the expressions that emerge through consciousness of body. What do we have to go beyond from? And where is that beyond?
many times, most of the times. We hold that which is temporary as something that's permanent. Everything that is part of this world everything that we have acquired in this world is temporary. But in the expansion of our thoughts, of our understanding, we have taken that to be permanent. And this awareness is in our deep consciousness. On the surface, superficially, we say that, yes, I know what is permanent, I know what is temporary. I haven't brought anything of this world into this world. So, I do not take anything of this world back with me. But many times these words are just superficially spoken without taking into account the gravity of the understanding of what is permanent and what is temporary. So we have to go beyond the understanding and be stable in what is truly permanent and what is truly temporary. Everything of this world this body the material things the relationships the elements of nature Everything exists for certain period for us and then as its nature is, it changes. world exists always. Relationships will always be there. Material things 
yes they will be there nature will always be supporting us everything will be there but the way we relate to everything of this world and the way those aspects relate to us that keeps changing so let us create the proper relation we have with whatever belongs to this world every moment let us deeply appreciate the contribution that these aspects of life are offering to us so let us contribute to the beauty of the world let us beautify our inner world and the outer world with virtues with the exchange of true understanding as we undertake this exercise of relating to everything of this world as its nature is recognizing the contribution of nature in our life recognizing the contribution of material things in our life recognizing the contribution of relationships in our life and recognizing the unique gift of nature the body in our life as everything is contributing to enrich our life in return we are enriching 
these aspects of the world. So this helps us to go beyond the temporary nature and appreciate the permanence of the contribution that, that these aspects offer to us. And what is permanent? is the exchange of sustaining qualities. The sustaining quality that nature has, the material things sustain us, our relationships sustain us, and the body sustains us. As we recognize the qualities, the sustaining qualities that we receive from this physical world, we go beyond its temporary nature, the nature of constant change. And we become stable in the permanent nature of this world, the nature of qualities, the nature of virtues, that are constantly exchanged in every moment. These qualities, these virtues are very subtle. It is the subtle energy that we all carry as souls and that is the subtle energy of the nature of this world. Constant exchange of qualities of virtues, this is permanent. So we go beyond the temporary nature and move into that which is permanent, which is absolute, that which never changes. This subtle awareness helps us to be stable in our pure spiritual form. The spiritual light form of the self, of the soul, and helps us to go beyond the 
the acts we perform, the characters we play. We take our consciousness beyond this stage this studio of the universe and we enter our spiritual realm the subtle realm beyond this world beyond the physical dimensions that seems so vast, so infinite. But with our consciousness, we go beyond the seemingly infinite limits of this physical world and enter our spiritual, subtle dimension. In this spiritual dimension, there is nothing of this world present. No push and pull of karmic interactions. In this spiritual dimension, I do not have any bodily name. There is no existence of body. So there is no name. And nothing that comes with the body that exists in the spiritual dimension. I exist as a pure, spiritual, potent, energy of light, of peace, of purity, of strength. of love, of happiness. End of wisdom. In this dimension, I am connected with myself, my true self. Mm. 
in this spiritual dimension. This abode of spiritual light. The light that has radiance of golden red color indicating strength indicating the purity of gold indicating the self-luminous nature of this sixth element in this atmosphere of pure spiritual strength <clears throat> I see everyone in their purest most potent nourishing form. I see everyone else as a soul, as a point of pure radiance. I see everyone connected with themselves, their true self and with each other with the subtle vibration energy of pure love in this dimension there is no memory, no awareness of the story we have enacted in, in the physical world. We all are beyond the story. Can you experience yourself? In that ultimate strength, ultimate liberation, and that ultimate bliss, in which the story does not have any power over us. The story has no importance. There is no story in the spiritual dimension. Can you go 
go beyond and experience yourself as one who is out of this story and in their truest potential in this dimension we are all connected to one another through our eternal relationship with the one supreme divine Let us hold our consciousness in that purest of pure abode of light, spiritual light, and give ourselves the experience of being connected to the One, the One Supreme Divine, the One who is ocean of love. ocean of knowledge the almighty the purifier our eternal mother and father the eternal name of the one is shiv baba shiva the most benevolent energy the seed the point the one that holds the transformative power to change human consciousness from physical growth to spiritual and subtle as we absorb the rays of love 
फ्रॉम शिव बाबा फ्रॉम द वन सुप्रीम मदर एंड फादर द वन हु इज प्रेज बाय एवरी वन the one who is called by many names let us renew our consciousness with the experience of this true eternal relation with the one mother and father the supreme light and through that one we connect reconnect with everyone else as the eternal children we become one family we find stability in this home we feel secure and loved in this one family staying beyond and moving back in moving back into the physical dimension into this physical world but with the consciousness of beyond knowing the character or characters i will play are temporary but enriching every character in every moment with this consciousness of beyond with this consciousness of our eternal connection with god with that one supreme ocean of love feeling very secure and loved as we invoke 
our consciousness from beyond being an energy of the purest of pure qualities seeing others in these qualities and once again transforming this world same as the world that we experienced from beyond as we complete this collective meditation we stay in that experience of beyond and we see in our own life how can we personalize this experience how can we apply this experience to enrich the world Thank you everyone for joining tonight. And create creating this wonderful inspiring vibration of going beyond and staying connected. Om Shanti Om Shanti thank you for such a beautiful meditation and thank you to everyone watching on Facebook we'd really like it if you could join Zoom if you can make it so now we'll be stopping the live stream and we'll be moving on to the next part of today's session which is the sharing so thank you again facebook <laughs>